school buses. Well, as they come off the assembly line, they're generally very safe. Mm -hmm. But a change made to dozens of school buses in Caldwell led to a serious crash and a gash, that is, in the forehead of a little girl. A uh, poor little girl and her mom, Rochelle Sanchez, contacted On Your Side to warn other parents and see if Fox 9 could help fix the problem. Little Frankie Rose Sanchez is six years old and was just getting used to riding the bus when... She fell asleep. The driver slammed on her brakes and Frankie flew forward. It cut her head open. It was a pretty deep cut. A clip used to secure a broom in the front seat missed Frankie's eye by just two inches. My concern is that the buses are unsafe. Sanchez expressed her concerns to Frankie's principal at Vision Charter School, who took action. If I uncover any situation that is unsafe, we want to immediately fix that. I expect it to be uh, remedied immediately. Olden Camp called the Caldwell Transportation Company and they fixed Vision Charter's five buses. I feel grateful that they took her safety in consideration, but I also feel bad that they didn't do the same for all the other children. Caldwell transportation buses are used throughout the district, and bus officials told Rochelle they'd work on removing the rest of the clips. But I didn't talk to Rochelle until about a month after the accident happened. That very day, I went out and took pictures of Caldwell transportation buses, and as you can see, many of them still had the brooms attached. Now, I called the insurance company for Caldwell Transportation that night and said we were doing this story. The very next day, I got a call from the president of the company saying they were going to take care of the brooms. Sure enough, almost every broom was gone. Almost. If they could have fixed my daughter's bus at that time, they should have been able to have enough time to fix all the buses. I think that they would still be up today if you hadn't called. All right, we must say, though, that I did see most of the buses out there, and it seems that most of the brooms are out of the danger area. The president of the Caldwell Transportation would not go on camera. He did tell me that there hadn't been an accident with the clips in 30 years since they'd been installed. They've been in there for a long time. Sure. Still, he says the brooms have been moved to the back of the bus, and the clips have been removed. Which just makes sense, doesn't it? It does. All right. Well, would a seatbelt have helped?